Hello and welcome to ATS Environmental Sump Repair Presentation. We'll be spending the next few minutes talking about costly and chronic problems caused by leaking sumps. We'll show you examples of some of the more common problems that we see in the field every day, followed by a brief overview of some of our cost-effective turnkey solutions. We hope our material proves to be informative and helpful. And remember, ATS Environmental is a full-service provider and can meet all of your compliance needs. Should you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact our corporate office at the number listed below. Thank you for taking the time to view our presentation. We hope you enjoy it. Ask yourself the following questions. If you answer yes to even one of the following questions, you can benefit from ATS Environmental's Sump Repair Program. Tired of costly pump outs? Electronic tank gauge always in alarm? Internal sump components becoming weathered and worn? Do your sumps fill with water every time it rains? Have you received a notice of violation due to leaking or failed sumps? Allow ATS to assist in reducing your overall cost of ownership. By making a repair to a leaking sump, we will eliminate fines, you'll have no more costly service calls to troubleshoot your sensor alarms, there'll be no more expensive pump outs every time it rains, you'll be able to increase the life of your underground equipment. So give us a call and utilize ATS's turnkey solutions. Allow ATS to tailor a repair that meets your needs. ATS uses the latest technology to ensure cost-effective, long-lasting solutions with little or no downtime. ATS's expert field staff are trained in Blue Line Technologies, Unit Liner, and Universal Valve Retrofit Sump Lids. We have a toolbox on every truck outfitted with products from each of these manufacturers, allowing us to utilize the right tool for the job every time out. We have trucks in your area for a quick response. Being outfitted with tools from all of these manufacturers allows us to provide same-day repairs. Why should a sump be kept watertight? To avoid groundwater contamination, to allow proper functioning of equipment, to allow access for maintenance, to allow easy inspection and monitoring, to extend the life of your equipment to avoid indirect storage of contaminated and hazardous materials which could lead to a major fine. Most owners don't realize that their sumps and fittings as well as secondary piping are the last offense against a catastrophic leak. Okay so let's explain quickly ATS's secondary test and repair process. We start with a pre-test of the containment to determine the leak source. Then we'll be able to determine the best repair method for the job. We'll then power wash and degrease the entire sump and lid. We'll perform a thorough cleaning of the percolation area. We'll then prepare the sump, provide certified installation of our turnkey solutions, followed by a confirmatory test, wastewater removal, and a conscientious four-quart cleanup. Here are examples of some of the problems that we see in the field every day. Chances are you've seen these at some of your sites as well. Cracked or deteriorated nitrile fittings, pipe swell causing the donuts to shift, bacterial erosion, ozone erosion, boot swell. All of these events contribute to failing sumps. This is an example of a very common problem that we find in the field every day. This is your split nitrile fitting. Unfortunately, in many cases, the split may be underneath of the penetration and not visible from the surface. This could be a potential problem inside of your sump without you even knowing it. What we have here are a few more examples of split nitrile fittings. You can actually see on the right hand side of the slide a huge tear in the fitting. What you see here is a fairly common occurrence in the field on a product pipe. You can see examples of the pipe swell which moves the donut. Uh, you can see examples of nitrile cracking and you can see bacterial erosion. Here are just a few more examples of nitrile fitting failures. What you're looking at here is bacterial and ozone erosion at the base of the penetration. 
Here's another very common occurrence in the field. Uh, this is an example of uh, another failed nitrile fitting. What this is is a boot swell allowing external groundwater to enter the sump. Other causes of leaks. Poorly fitting sump lids. Non-watertight sump lids. Sump distortion and cracking. Pipe swell from permeated hydrocarbons ripping boots. And no entry boots in place. Now that you've seen examples of some of the very common failures that we see in the field every day, allow us to take you through some of our repair solutions. We're going to take you through just a couple of ATS's turnkey solutions which are on every one of our trucks. Now remember, there's no downtime. We can have the same day troubleshoot and repair and always certified, insured, and licensed installers. This is an example of one of ATS's turnkey solutions. This is a blue line repair kit. These are split, fillable boot repair kits. There's no need to break concrete and all the work is done from inside the sump. Okay, we're going to take you through a leaking sump penetration example. This will be an encapsulation repair. Uh, step one, prepare the surfaces around the boot that needs to be repaired so that it's free from dirt and oil. Step two, spread the mounting ring apart and position over the boot to be encapsulated. Step three, after cleaning both sides of the mounting ring and boot with acetone, liberally apply a bead of blue seal glue along the edges of the splits. Step number four, once the glue is applied, install the band clamps into position and moderately tighten to ensure that the boot edges remain aligned for approximately 30 minutes to allow the blue seal glue to properly dry. Step number five, apply a wide bead of Bostic along the inside ring of the mounting ring to ensure that a proper seal is formed between the tech screws and the sump wall. Step six, Center the mounting ring over the secondary pipe and push the fitting against the sump wall. Once this is done, use a drill to partially drive the lowermost tech screw through the sump wall. Install remaining tech screws and make sure that the mounting ring is tight against the sump wall. Step 7. Mount the boot to the mounting ring with glue and clamp. Step number 8. Leave the clamp at the pipe loose to allow the air to escape. Completely fill the boot and then tighten all clamps to finish. Hydrostatic or vacuum tests should be completed to verify the repair and this can be done immediately after you have finished filling the boot and tightening the band clamps. This is another one of ATS's turnkey solutions. These are retrofit sump lids. The lid takes the place of old leaking sump lids, prevents water intrusion even in high groundwater areas, it's made to fit any style or size sump. It's equipped with an inspection port for easy access. ATS has a full stock of these lids on each truck ready for same day repair. The retrofit lid can be installed in an hour with no downtime and no need to break concrete. These lids are a perfect complement to any sump repair job. The next portion of this presentation is going to be a demonstration of a retrofit sump lid by our friends at Universal Valve.
Thank you for taking the time to view ATS Environmental Services Sump Repair Program. Remember, we're here to meet all of your compliance needs. Should you have any questions at all, please call our corporate office at 1-800-440-TANK. That's 1-800-440-8265. Thank you and have a great day.